The safety effect, empower yourself, support your team, inspire your organization by David Morline is a comprehensive guide on cultivating a culture of safety within an organization. The book emphasizes that a safe workplace is not only a legal and moral imperative, but also a crucial driver of overall performance and success. Through clear examples and actionable strategies, Morline empowers individuals at all levels to contribute to safety initiatives, while also showcasing the ripple effects these efforts can have, from individual empowerment to team support and organizational inspiration. Initially, the book introduces the concept of the safety effect, which is the positive impact that a focus on safety can have on various aspects of an organization. The idea is that safety is not just about preventing accidents, but also about creating a culture of care and responsibility that permeates throughout the workplace. This culture leads to more engaged employees, increased productivity, improved quality, customer satisfaction, and ultimately financial performance. To empower oneself, Morline stresses the importance of personal responsibility and understanding the significance of safety in the workplace. He encourages individuals to take proactive steps to identify risks and to advocate for safety measures, suggesting that everyone in the organization should view themselves as a safety leader, regardless of their official position or title. By equipping oneself with the necessary knowledge and skills, and by displaying a commitment to safety, one's behavior can serve as a model for others to follow. Support for one's team is another crucial element outlined in the book. Morline highlights the power of collective action and communication in building a safe work environment. The author points out that good safety practices become more deeply ingrained when teams work together towards common goals. Effective collaboration, open dialogue about risks and concerns, and shared best practices contribute to a supportive work culture where safety is prioritized. Leaders are shown to be instrumental in fostering this collaborative environment by facilitating team discussions, encouraging reporting of issues without fear of repercussions, and recognizing and rewarding safe behavior. At the organizational level, Morline discusses how an emphasis on safety can inspire the entire company. Leadership must integrate safety into the organizational strategy, demonstrating through policy and practice that safety is a core value. The book advises organizations to establish clear safety protocols, provide adequate resources and training for safety initiatives, and consistently measure and evaluate safety performance. By creating transparent systems for reporting and learning from incidents, an organization can continuously improve its safety standards and show employees that their well-being is a priority. The author further explores the link between safety and other organizational outcomes, like quality, efficiency, and innovation. He argues that a company's reputation for safety can enhance its brand, making it more attractive to clients, partners, and potential employees. Moreover, the positive effects of safety extend beyond the workplace by positively influencing the lives of employees, their families, and communities. Morline emphasizes that both managers and frontline employees play crucial roles in driving safety improvements. Managers in particular need to set clear expectations, provide necessary support, and hold people accountable for their safety performance. Employees on the ground are often best positioned to identify risks and should be empowered to make decisions that prioritize safety. One of the central arguments in the book is that there should be a constant pursuit of learning and improvement in safety matters. This requires a shift from a compliance-based mindset to one that seeks to exceed standards and benchmarks. Companies are encouraged to learn from other industries, innovations, and even mistakes to refine their own safety practices and policies continually. A significant part of fostering a safety culture is dealing with resistance to change. Morlane offers guidance on how to overcome obstacles such as complacency, lack of buy-in from staff, and financial constraints. He recommends ongoing education and making a compelling business case for safety investments by illustrating their long-term benefits compared to the costs of non-compliance and the potential harm from accidents. Throughout the book, Morline also emphasizes the importance of mental health and well-being as components of safety. In modern workplaces, addressing stress, burnout, and psychological hazards is as important as physical safety measures. He advocates for a holistic approach to employee well-being, 
encompassing both physical and mental health initiatives. Moreover, technology's role in enhancing safety is another topic Moorline touches upon. He points out that technological advancements have provided new tools for improving safety monitoring, data analysis, and training. From wearable devices that track environmental conditions to simulation-based training programs, technology can play a significant role in preventing accidents and incidents before they occur. In the face of all these benefits, Moorline warns that developing a safety culture cannot be seen as a one-time project, but as an ongoing journey. It requires patience, persistence, and consistent effort from all levels within the organization. Leaders must be clear in their vision, but they must also be adaptable, ready to refine their approach based on feedback and changing circumstances. The book concludes by affirming the reach and impact of the safety effect. A strong safety culture not only improves the immediate environment of the workplace, but also transcends organizational borders, affecting society at large. By embracing safety as a core value, companies can lead by example, setting standards for industries, communities, and future generations. Overall, the safety effect provides readers with a roadmap for promoting safety culture in their organizations. It combines practical advice, proven strategies, and inspirational messages to encourage everyone, from executives to entry-level employees, to play an active role in prioritizing safety. The book makes it clear that when safety is given the attention it deserves, the benefits extend well beyond the obvious reductions in accidents and injuries. It drives performance, morale, and sustainable business success. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.